Kimchi means to me the essence and life and the culture of Korea. It's fermented, it's juicy, it's sour, it's sweet, it's red, it's fiery. It's the best pickle out there. If you are a kimchi version, you will either love or hate it at first, but after you try it and try it and try again, you will learn to love this little condiment of choice. First, you're gonna grab a large bowl and stir together some salt with some warm water and mix it until it's dissolved enough. Then let that water cool. Then you're gonna sprinkle the remaining salt onto the leaves and in between each of the wedges. Then put the wedges into the salted water that's now cooled and weigh it down with something so that all of it's immersed. Next, you're going to rinse the wedges under cold running water to get rid of all of that excess salt and moisture. Gently squeeze out any excess water and then set them cut side down in a colander or strainer and let drain out. Now you're gonna make a nice flavorful stock in a small saucepan. Put together onions, the dried shiitake mushrooms, the dried anchovies, scallions, some garlic, and the kelp, and bring it to a boil over high heat. You're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes, and then strain the liquid, discarding all of the solids, and let that cool completely. I have very vivid kimchi memories because it stinks when you make it. And so as you know, smells automatically evoke all of these memories and bring back images of the past. Now you're gonna make the chili paste. So you're gonna combine the garlic cloves, the gochugaru Korean chili flakes, fish sauce, the salted shrimp, sugar, and ginger. Process this for a little bit until it's smooth. You're gonna wanna add some stock now and really use enough to make it spreadable. About two cups, you can add it little by little. Then you're going to stir in carrots, the scallions and radish and cover them in with the spice paste. Now you're going to spread this kimchi paste all over your brine cabbage. You're gonna peel back the leaves like an onion, starting from the outermost leaf first and really smothering and massaging that kimchi paste all over every single leaf on both sides into the crevices and deep inside into the wedge, not missing any single inch of each cabbage leaf. You're gonna pull over the top and make a little parcel and then repeat this until you're done with all of your wedges. And then find your non-reactive container with a tight-filling lid and gently pack all of your kimchi wedges in there. You can use all of the kimchi paste on the top and just put it in, pack it nicely, and then close it. Kimchi can be eaten right away at this stage, or you can just stick it right in the refrigerator and it'll ferment more slowly. I like to age mine for about two weeks, but it's really up to your own taste and preference. I love putting it on top of french fries, like a disco fries type thing. I love putting it on top of hamburgers instead of a regular pickle. Even on top of mac and cheese, it gives everything that little bit of crunch and umami that makes you go in back and back for more. <laughs> today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives